These are my babies. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello, my name is Courtney and welcome to my channel. This is my daughter Sydney. This is my son Kingston and in today's video we are going to be recreating a makeup look that they did for me. I did a video like this with my babies not too long ago. Well, actually that might have been a long time ago. It was like two <laughs> years ago. Anyway, <laughs> if you are interested in what we came up with, then please continue to watch. <laughs> Starting with the Becca under eye primer, I'm going to place that on the puffier parts of my under eye. Then I'm going in with my Becca First Light Priming Filter. Now for this video, I basically let my kids just pick the products and go ham. I'm just going to go in the order that they did, so bear with me. Next, my daughter picked the Rare Beauty Foundation, I'm guessing because of the shape. And I'm going to generously apply that with the applicator. By the way, this shade is 400W. I do have a review on it if you are curious. I'm going to go in with my Oma Beauty Stay Woke Concealer, which is a really creamy full coverage type of situation. It's also super lightweight and you don't need a ton of it. I'm setting my concealer with the Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder. For a little contour, I'm using my Dose of Colors Concealer in 25 Dark. I feel like the crazy part about it is they generally have an idea of where everything is supposed to go and like what it is. Like my daughter kept telling me to like make the face and everything, but I just feel like the execution of it all. <laughs> For bronzer, I'm using the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Bronzer. My kids love the fact that this one smells like chocolate. And be sure to place your bronzer above the contour, not below it, for the record. <laughs> Next, taking Bella Blush from Juvia's Place and again adding it to the higher edges of the cheek, moving it slightly into the main cheek area. I tried to do my brows a little different this go round. I'm taking my Fenty Brow Wax first to lay them down. I'm gonna take my Oma Beauty Brow Pencil to fill them in. And honestly, I'm just going for the whole like wax down boy brow look. <laughs> just to see how it works in my face. And honestly, it didn't turn out that bad. Um, it looks pretty natural. The eyes, my son did like a blue shimmer using the Kaleidos Electric Turquoise palette. And then my daughter created a red pink sunset situation with the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette that she's holding like a true artist. They said they were going for fire on one side and water on the other. I was kind of thinking it looked more like Harley Quinn. But anywho, I think my daughter was also going for like a cut crease. So we're gonna kind of meld all of that together to create a look. I'm going to prime my lids with the ABH eye primer and I'm going to make sure I smooth it all the way out. Going into the electric turquoise palette, I'm going to take that deep turquoise shade and pack that on my outer lid corner, moving it into my crease. Switching to a flat round tip brush to angle that outer edge upward and out and kind of sharpen it up a little bit. Then I'm going to take the lighter turquoise in the palette just to blend out the edge of the deeper shade we put down. Again, I'm following those curves we created as well. Going back into the palette, I'm going to take that shimmery turquoise shade and add that to my lid with my finger, taking care to keep it below my crease. So my kids also played in the Reina del Caribe Volume 1 palette, so I took Veradero and smudged that on my lower lash line, bringing it all the way in, connecting that outer edge to the top eye corner, and blend that out with a thin fluffy brush. I'm going to take my Milk Gel Liner in Biz.
Now for the other eye, we're gonna mimic everything we just did, just using the Jaclyn Hill palette instead. Taking Living My Best as my outer edge deepener, moving it into the crease, carving out the angles, basically trying to match it up with the other side, which this is part of the reason I do my shadow first. It's easier to clean up later. Then taking my man to blend out the edges of that deeper shade. For the shimmer on this side, we're taking flawed and odd and adding that to the lid. Again, I'm staying below the crease and blending the shimmer in with the deeper shade as well. Now because the other eye has a little bit more glitter to it, I'm gonna take Talia from the palette and tap that on top of the lid with my finger. Next, I'm gonna take Empowered to the lower lash line, mimicking what we did on the other side. And blending the edges. Using my Dose of Colors liners in New Flame and Cloud Wine, I'm gonna stack those in my waterline. And I'm gonna go ahead and create my wings here. Again, this is why I do my eyes first, so if I like mess up the wing, I can literally come in and clean it up with a wipe or something. Back into the Reina palette, I'm taking La Costa to both of my tear duct areas. Adding lashes and mascara. Then for highlighter, I'm gonna use Boomin from the Shayla and ColourPop collection, which honestly I forgot I even had, but it still works, still very beautiful. I'm gonna set with my Dewy Skin Mist from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now for the lips, I'm gonna use Fenty Underdog Liquid Lipstick and place that on the majority of my lips. Then I'm going to take Uncensored and put that just in the center of the lips for a little bit more of a red than a purple kind of tint, if that makes sense. And thus, we have our final look. Alright guys, that about does it for us. Hopefully this video was fun fun and entertaining, inspiring, all that great stuff. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video if it is in your heart to do so. And we will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.